My name is Roxana Altamirano, and I am the editor and founder of Nerd Boyfriend. Well, I started Nerd Boyfriend, um, it was just kind of, you know, by accident. Um, I wanted to create a photo blog, like a lot of people do, um, just to post my favorite photographs. Um, and it just so happened that um, when I posted the first one and then the second one, that I realized that, oh, the people have great personal fashion sense. Um, so I figured, and I really liked what they were wearing, so I just kind of made a challenge and to myself, and I wanted to find what they were wearing. Uh, so I did, and I posted what I found, and then it just kind of took off from there. I did it every time I posted a picture, and people really responded to it, so I kept on doing it, yeah. <laughs> The reason I chose Nerd Boyfriend as the domain name, um, it was really because I, <laughs> I kind of realized that everyone I adored was kind of considered a nerd. And there's many definitions of nerd. For me, a nerd is just someone that loves their craft and their art and does it to, you know, the fullest. And um, and I think that that is a very good word to describe the people that I would, you know, post on there. They just are art nerds or, you know, they do their craft really well. Nerd can be, you know, someone that has his own world, their own vision. And I just think it's an endearing term. Uh, I brought some photo books. Um, these are kind of my inspiration. Um, I do a lot of research online, but my favorite thing to do is to go to bookstores around the city. There are a lot of great old bookstores here in Echo Park and Silver Lake um, that we can that I can go to and just browse through old pictures and um, like the Beatles. You know, here's um, with the Beatles a history of photographs and actually one of the photographs of John Lennon up there um, is from this book. For example, Stanley Kubrick also are about their art, but my favorite part of the book. Is, is about the actual artist himself, you know, in the beginning where it has a little bit about the, the man, photographs of, of the man himself. That's my favorite part of the book. Uh, Diving for Sunken Treasures by Jack Cousteau. Um, see, this is a really good example of inspiration um, because you would think, you know, I, I'm, I'm very curious about the exploration that Jack Cousteau did, but I'm more curious about why, you know, why does he wear a red hat? <laughs> why <laughs> isn't that so cool, you know? Why does he wear just little blue shorts and a red hat? Like, why did you start wearing that, you know? Like, I would love to ask him that question. <laughs> so that that's really kind of um, where my inspiration comes from. I try to, yeah, I, I try to take pictures that people haven't seen before, that people will find inspiring. Um, the best compliment that I get from their boyfriend is that it's very inspiring fashion-wise, and they say, hey, you know, I have the courage to now kind of 
take full expression with my wardrobe and you know put my own character into it and that's really the biggest compliment that I can get it's an inspiring um, blog you know for people to go out there and express themselves